thoughtful and blunt video. So strap in because we're going to break apart more than a few of the politically correct ideologies that people have been spreading around for decades. In this video, we'll be looking at reality, not wishful thinking. We recommend re-watching this video at least once every month in order to not lose track of what it takes. The truth is, in order to get rich or super successful, there are plenty of sacrifices to be made. Success or riches always come at a cost, and if you're on your journey to getting them for yourself, it's best to be aware of these and plan accordingly. Getting rich is not for everyone. You're free to live a mediocre life if that's what you want. We're not going to pretend that life is filled with rainbows and sunshine because it isn't. Hopefully at the end of this video, when you look at someone who's incredibly successful or rich, you'll give it a second thought and think of the sacrifices he or she made to get where they are today. If you're one of those easily offendable types and this is the first video you're watching on our channel, well, this is your cue to close the video and go watch something else. You know what? I hear YouTube has lots of cute animal videos too. Now, the following list is based on the average reality of multiple multi-millionaires and billionaires from multiple countries and cultures, aggregated into a single list that makes it easy for you Aluxers to go through and get yourselves ready for the future. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We're not saying that in order to get rich you'll need to make all of these sacrifices. What we're saying is, there isn't a single individual who made it big without making at least some of these sacrifices to get to where they are today. With that said, here are 15 things people sacrifice in order to get rich. Number 1. Family We wanted to start with family because this is the last thing people want to hear that they have to sacrifice. Many successful individuals postpone starting a family for a later date. They start one only after they have accumulated success. This is probably one of the most important sacrifices one makes in order to be rich. The road to financial success demands so much focus and effort put into it that it would be almost impossible to achieve the same level of greatness if you're being sidetracked by personal feelings. That's just the truth. Successful people don't get married early on, almost never in their 20s, and for sure they don't have children as soon as the rest. We've touched upon this in the past, how having a kid early on is pretty much financial suicide, trapping you into the rat race. In order for you to acquire wealth, the process needs your undivided attention. The moment one has a child, that child immediately becomes the focus point and everything else falls behind, as it should be. A third aspect that gets sacrificed is the relationship with your family. Parents and siblings require time, effort, and sometimes financial resources as well, all which you are not in a position to spare in the beginning stages of your journey, if you're serious about getting rich. It sucks to say that you won't be available for your relatives, that you're not going to focus on building a family for yourself at this stage of your life, and that you'll postpone having a child. But this is one of the harshest realities of which most rich and successful individuals sacrifice in order to get there. Number 2. Health We've always mentioned health as one of the most important ingredients to a successful life, but this video focuses on getting rich. The paradox is that most people sacrifice health in order to get money and then sacrifice the money in order to regain their health. We'd all like to believe in the iconic image of the entrepreneur, working 16 hours per day, hitting the gym for two more hours, eating kale and meditating for at least one hour in the morning, but the truth is, the road to riches will take a toll on your health. The most common feeling is that of tiredness, because most individuals have difficulty falling asleep. The goal keeps you up at night, there are worries to consider, and everything depends on your ability to manage them. Entrepreneurs live with a tremendous amount of stress in their lives. They usually neglect their health in the pursuit of success. Number 3. Friends There is very little room for a social life when you really want to be rich. One of the first things you should sacrifice if you want to make it is the people around you who are not pushing you further. Cutting down on the toxic individuals is a must, then followed by those who are not actively making you better. It's fairly common for successful people to dramatically reduce their inner circle with a focus on the quality of the individuals. The average future millionaire has 1.8 close friends and they themselves are also focused on getting rich. That way they can push each other further along the way. You need people who can relate to your struggles and that can understand why you're putting in that level of effort. Nobody else will understand with the exception of individuals who they themselves are doing the same thing. 
If you really want to make it, your inner circle should decrease in size, but increase in value. Number four, hobbies. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hobbies by their nature produce very little value to both yourself and your immediate environment. Not only that, in order to maintain a hobby, it demands time, attention, and most of the time, financial resources as well. If you want to be rich and you're not where you want to be in life, you can't afford to have a hobby. That's the truth. You can go golfing, paint landscapes, or whatever you find worthy of calling your hobby after you've taken care of the basics. Why do you have a hobby when you can't take care of yourself? Hobbies should be the last thing on your mind. Number five, time. The road from zero to financial success will take an average of seven to 10 years, depending on the industry, your emotional intelligence, your intellect, your ability to play the market, and the volume of work you're able to put out in order to make it happen. Guess what? The days you spend at your computer or negotiating with clients are probably not going to be the best years of your life, but it's a sacrifice one needs to make if they're serious about getting rich, because it's that time that yields the results you're looking for. Seven years might sound like a lot of time, and it doesn't mean that those years will lack any positive memories. Time will pass either way, so make sure to invest it wisely. Ask yourself the following question. Are you willing to eat shit for several years in order to eat caviar for the rest of your life? If the answer is yes, you're on the right track. Number six, happiness. Happiness is a big one because as you know, money can't buy you happiness at the end, but in order to get money, you will need to sacrifice your happiness to a certain degree. Even if you love what you do, nobody is happy working 14 to 16 hour days every single day. That's not how evolution made us. So there needs to be a balance to the amount of happiness you're willing to sacrifice in exchange for material gain. If you sacrifice too much, you might not be able to cope with your new reality. Now, this video is not a to-do list. It's just a frank observation of reality, and you should treat it as such. Sacrificing your happiness at this stage will result in you being able to enjoy different types of happiness in the future, like being able to spend quality time with your child when the time is right, because you won't have to worry about paying the freaking bills. That's a trade that you should be willing to make. Number seven, sleep. You can't sleep, broke people sleep. You gotta be willing to sacrifice sleep. If you sleep, you may miss the opportunity to be successful. That's an interesting quote, isn't it? When we started our Instagram account, uh, shameless plug here, go follow us at Alux to get your dose of motivation there. We shared a picture with the text, sleep is for billionaires. In the recent years, people are split on this topic. You've got people like Elon Musk who sleep the absolute minimum amount required to get him to function. And then there are people like Ariana Huffington. She's the founder of Huffington Post for those of you who don't know who she is. That says sleeping more results in higher productivity and nobody should cut down on sleep. If you draw the line and look at this objectively, sleeping less is an amazing advantage if you make quality use of the time while you're awake. There's no point in sleeping five hours a night if you're only gonna be working eight hours during the day. Sleep is the first thing everyone should sacrifice when they begin their journey. Six hours of sleep per night is really manageable and you can fit a lot more work during the day. Start with sleep. Number eight, who you are. If you want to be rich, if you want to be successful, you need to sacrifice who you are in order to become who you want to be. It's smart to think of yourself in terms of a work in progress, similar to a software. This is your current version, but don't be afraid to make updates, fix bugs, and reiterate what makes you, you. Your current reality didn't make you rich. The current version of yourself wasn't able to solve the puzzles needed to further your achievements from a financial standpoint, so you need to do something about it. Evaluate who you really are. What are the things that set you back? What are the things that the current version of yourself failed to do? Then seek ways to transform yourself in that department. An easy aspect to point out is discipline. If you lack discipline, you're probably never going to be successful. Poor people always lack discipline. This is because success in any form comes from repetitive actions, which add up over time. Unless you can discipline yourself, you won't stand a chance. We're making a video every single day in order to maintain our momentum. This is not by accident. 
Discipline is one of the 15 traits that predict success in life. If you want us to do a video on this topic, please mention it in the comments. Number 9. Entertainment After sleep, this is the second thing people who want to get rich should sacrifice. There's no need for you to sit down and watch 10 seasons of Friends. There's no value there. Poor people always justify wasting time in one form or another. If you're just starting out, as we know most of you are, immediately cut out the low and medium levels of entertainment in your life. If you can't cut everything out, doze it and enjoy only the best types of entertainment so that it works as a reward. Unless you're a professional eSports player, there's no need for you to be spending your time playing video games. There's no need for you to watch sports or TV for that matter, unless you're the one on TV. There's no need for you to be on social media, unless you're running a media business. This is not a video on how to be happy in life. This is a video on what it takes to get rich. You need all your creative power and working hours to be put in and compounded into achieving your goal. You can't half-ass it because you're going to fail. A while back, we did a video on 15 reasons why you're not happy. Click in the top right corner to watch it. It's filled with value. Number 10. Stability Getting rich is a roller coaster. It will take a lot of ups and downs until you reach the destination. Stability gets sacrificed. You don't know what tomorrow holds and you don't have the luxury of being at ease. You need to move yourself, to position yourself, to meet new people, to negotiate your own reality and provide for yourself since nobody is gonna go get it for you. If you believe your environment is keeping you from being successful, sacrifice it, move somewhere else. You are in control of this ride. If it doesn't work out, you're the only one who is to blame. Although the journey is a roller coaster, the ride is worth it, so get busy. Number 11. Income You might not like to hear this, but until you make it big, you need to sacrifice your share of the income. You put it right back into the business or project until you make it. There's no other way. You're not going to be a baller while you're still pushing towards it. Every single dollar needs to be carefully planned where it would have the most impact to go toward, and usually yourself is pretty far down the list, unless you're going to use the money to develop your own set of skills. This is the reality. Whenever you see people flaunting their purchases without them being where they want to be in life, we just feel bad for them as they're actively sabotaging themselves. Number 12. Comfort You've always asked us to tell the truth in our videos, and we always have. The luxury lifestyle, the big house, the luxury cars, the private jet, traveling all around the world in first class. That's the end result of years of living way below your means. Unless you're born rich, you'll have to struggle to get there and sacrifices need to be made. The simplest way is to sacrifice comfort and use the cash difference to accelerate your growth. It's mind boggling how many people blow away their money on meaningless things that they perceive as comfort. You don't need the new iPhone. Your old one still works perfectly. You don't need to live in a big house or apartment in your 20s. Cut down on rent and use the remaining cash somewhere productive. Poor people stay poor by trying to look rich, while rich people are busy getting richer by acting like they're poor. Many highly successful individuals refer to this period as their ramen phase. It's the time when you cut down on comfort so much that you survive on the bare minimum. There's no need for comfort. Get yourself some ramen noodles and get to work. Number 13. The need to be liked. Statistically, disagreeable people are a lot more likely to become rich and successful than agreeable people. This is a fact, not an opinion. In order for people to like you, one needs to sacrifice oneself for the good of the other. That's how it works. At the end of the deal, who's seeing growth and who isn't? This doesn't mean you should become an asshole. It just means that you need to focus on yourself first and sacrifice the need to be liked by others. If others will like you for who you are and what you're doing, that's fine, but you'll never go out of your way to make that happen. Getting rich is about getting the job done, not by being the most popular person in the room. Number 14. Pride You do what you have to to make it happen. If you're too proud to work at a fast food joint just to be able to feed yourself while during the night you work on your project, you'll never be able to make it. Pride is counterproductive. You don't need to think what other people will think of you, mostly because people will only care about themselves. 
you do you. Maintain focus on your goals, on your objective, and make your dream become a reality, not what others are expecting of you. Trust us when we say, everybody respects the winner. You just have to get there first. Put your head down, sacrifice the pride you have, and make it happen for yourself and your future family. That's how you win. Number 15. Immediate Desires People are always seeking immediate gratification from even the slightest of efforts. Don't. That's what makes the difference between those who are going to make it and those who just want to portray the image that they are. If you stick to the plan, put in constant amounts of work and improvement, you are bound to see positive results. The process here is pretty linear. As soon as you get the first glimpse of success, it's easy to fall into the trap of congratulating yourself for the lap instead of focusing on winning the race. What usually happens while you're busy fulfilling immediate desires is you stray off course and end up with that small win as your highest point. You want to win small or you want to win big? Stay focused, Aluxers. Now this was a difficult video to put together filled with things that you probably didn't want to hear, but these are the current rules of the game of money. You were probably hoping for an easy fix, how to get richer, whatever. The truth is that people who do make it to that level are highly intelligent individuals who are driven, disciplined, focused, and sacrifice almost everything for their career or journey. The expense for the success you seek is a great one, so think twice if you really want it and what you're willing to do to achieve it. If not for anything, rewatch this video and see how you can improve yourself at least by a little in some of these aspects in order to get closer to your financial goals. We really hope you'll be able to see the value in this video, and if you do, share it with someone who's got the same mindset as you do. What do you think, Aluxers? Is getting rich and living the lifestyle you want worth all of these sacrifices? Let us know in the comments. And you know we've got a bonus fact for you for watching until the end, right? Here it is. Number 16. These sacrifices are short-term versus long-term rewards. After looking at this list, you might think, who in their right mind would sacrifice their family just for money? In order for the video to not be wrongfully interpreted, we want to make this clear. You can have everything. You can have the loving family, the close group of friends, a healthy lifestyle, the social status, and the comfort you want. You just need to postpone them by a couple of years. The alternative is living an unfulfilled life, a life cursed by the question of what if? and trying to justify other people's hard work as luck or good fortune. These are the realities of what it takes to get it all. Work hard when they won't, so you can enjoy the life they can't. It's always amazing to see how many people fail to watch even this video until the end. If you did, please write I want it all in the comments, just to keep track of who the real Aluxers are. As always, we'll make sure to reply. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.